That storm taken a northern track. Been a whole different story for that Pat's in game. In Foxborough would have been a completely different yeah. story. All right, let's check in with Barry now. He's uh, setting up the forecast for the work week and also something way off on the radar. Yeah, it looks like real winter is just around the corner, Ken and Kitty. It looks like the weather pattern is really changing, so we're going to be vulnerable to a number of systems and vulnerable to a lot of cold air in Canada, something we'll be watching over the next few weeks for sure. But we have quiet times for the most part for the next four days so we can enjoy that. Our high temperatures today, almost a carbon copy of what we had yesterday. Duplicate temperatures in many locations, mid and upper 20s. Now we're sitting at 25 in Boston, upper 20s on the Cape. Now the temperature isn't going to go down very much, especially where clouds are coming in from the ocean down here. Off to the northwest, it's going to be almost two different climates here. It's going to be relatively mild, so to speak, here. And still very cold and even frigid across northern New England, where the sky is clear and they've got a deeper snowpack way up north. Of course, we have basically bare ground around here. These are the numbers across the northeast and up into Canada presently. And it looks like we'll have temperatures uh, perhaps going down as low as 10 off to the northwest uh, during tonight in the single numbers perhaps, while the clouds will continue to keep the temperature pretty much in place in Boston and points over southeastern Massachusetts. There is a risk that maybe some what we call convergence to allow a little bit of ocean effect snow showers to form in certain lines or streets over parts of southeastern Massachusetts. Basically, uh, um, Plymouth County uh, Coastal Plain is where it's most likely to see some of those snow showers tonight and into tomorrow morning, while areas farther north and west will have fewer clouds and brighter sunshine tomorrow. Then during the afternoon, these should all fizzle, even over southeastern Massachusetts. That's the deal on tomorrow. So these ocean effect clouds and possible snow showers tonight into tomorrow can't rule out a dusting in spots to maybe up as much as a half inch to an inch in a few scattered areas down there. But basically the storm which has been affecting the mid-Atlantic states and of course a day earlier out in the Midwest is going out to sea. Six to ten inches of snow around the nation's capital. That storm is heading out to sea, not really, uh, really related to the snow showers we're going to have forming here later tonight. So we have a cold day tomorrow and on Tuesday as well, but gradually a little less cold than it has been. Then a cold front will be coming on, on and we'll have milder air coming up ahead of that front, so lower 40s for highs on Wednesday. Then it turns sharply colder again for Thursday. After that, we have another system on our way. Now this system on Friday should be relatively weak. But we'll start out snow in the early morning hours of Friday, and then likely change to rain in southern New England anyway for a while, maybe an inch or two of snow farther north and west. So that system will go out to sea, and then we'll just have very cold air piling in here again on Saturday. Then looking way ahead uh, to Sunday, a system coming in from the west coast will be transiting across the nation, and it'll have a swath of snow and perhaps a swath of some heavy sleet and rain to the south to really to be specific on that but it looks like it's going to be starting early on next sunday morning and be a sunday and monday deal of course, a lot of things can happen between now and then on the precise track of the storm, but it looks like low-level cold air will be greatly entrenched, and that means there could be a lot of snow and sleet with that. Boston is certainly destined to get its first inch of snow next Sunday. That's the way it looks right now, but it'll be a very active weather pattern shaping up for the next few weeks.